pensando. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. Dear Berkeley girl, I still remember when our eyes first met. You were in a relationship at the time, and yet, I knew one day I had a chance to call you mine. I'd wake up listening to your sleeping breath, synchronized with sounds of Blue Jays' morning chirps falling through the sunshine lurk. I knew this all, and yet, <laughs> I really knew that shit. I still remember the first time you asked me why I liked you. And I still remember responding the best that I could. I love the fact that you went to a big name school, and yet, here you were, doing your own thing. Not a care for what the world thought someone like you should be spending their time on. You never let others stop you from being true to yourself. Or to sum it up simply, I thought you were cool. I love the fact that you genuinely appreciated my interest in dance, showing me your favorite performances and talking about them with me. I remember this all, and it I still remember my answers never being enough. Wasn't aware I was being tested just because I was trying to keep it real with you, telling you about my past that I was invested in. Didn't realize how many girls have you slept with was a trick question that I had no chance of answering correctly. Never thought something I'd mention would become the source of afternoon fog and tension for something we'd never see eye to eye. Always tripping at my playful comments, you decided to stay gripping on my every word and flipping out because two weeks in I wasn't sure. Made me start wondering if you were insecure. Just like me. But your insecurities manifested like unexpected showers and my emotions got caught in your evening downpour. You see, after the storm, I realized the most fucked up thing that came from you was allowing my happiness to be dependent on games to prove that I was worthy of your love and affection. So here I am, still working to unwork this all. Dear January boy, I still remember when my eyes met yours. Playing it cool at first, I wasn't really sure. But chilling together, I was able to enjoy the time. Conversations ranging from shallow to depth. You made it feel like waking up to a morning harp. Serendipity sounds squiggling through the rye. You gave me all the substance I needed to feel this high. And still, somehow I forgot about the inevitable calm down. I still remember when you first asked me why I liked you. A little surprised, with no answer in mind, I decided to flow off the dome and say that there weren't many guys like you that approach a girl like me at a bar so confidently and living in a 21st century that seems perpetually plagued with monsters of self-doubt and negative esteem, demons of future loathing and anxiety and ghosts of the you'll never see for me, again variety, I felt positively attracted until I felt undeniably backed in, too late to realize I was trapped, and I still remember not asking you the question in return. And yet you still had an answer for me. Because you went to Stanford, a cool, and dance. Really? <laughs> a stranger could have spent two minutes looking at my Instagram and come up with something more meaningful. Why'd you feel like you had to probe me to get to know me, and to be certain I wasn't seeing any other homies? You wanted to own me? Tripping. So yeah, I was gripping onto your lackluster words because you were taking and manipulating mine. What was up came quickly crashing down because you were insecure. Just like me. But then I had a glimpse of confidence when I met another you. Only this time, not a researching fool. Not someone who'd examine me under a microscope or fill that zealous, douchey boyfriend trope. The only thing I took from you was that I'd undervalued my self-worth for way too fucking long. And to lower my ambition in order to receive your recognition, and now here I am, still trying to unwork it all. Dear birthday girl. Dear January boy. Why are you about so insecure? 
Woo! <laughs>